is uh, Marge and Peter were down, we're snowbirds here from Wisconsin down in, in Tucson. Um, we came down here last winter and um, last summer I decided to design this bicycle rack. Um, I had two thoughts about bicycle racks um, for long trips and one is the aerodynamics of the bicycle rack and uh, the other thing is a lot of bicycle racks are hard to take off and get access uh, to the back of the car. So um, I compromised um, on a number of things. For instance, um, the wheels go inside the car and this is obviously fork mount here. Um, took the seats off, wouldn't necessarily have to do that. And also, the, I turned the handlebars a little bit. Um, from, the, from, from the standpoint of the aerodynamics, I'm totally satisfied. I did not notice any, any penalty. Certainly there was something, but um, almost nothing. So that was the most important criteria, and it passed with flying colors. Um, taking the uh, carrier off, there is a temporary wheel underneath the carrier uh, that is removable with a pin and some strong people with light bicycles might not see the, the need for that wheel. Um, I think it is helpful for myself, but um, I'll demonstrate removing the, the uh, rack right now. So there's a pin, and I have the pin out. And I just slide the rack back, and you can see uh, there's a part that stays in the receiver on the car. So then there's a foam pad that I, I stick over that thing so nobody hurts their, their themselves when, um, when that's still sticking out. Um, I would give this, um, boy, at least a B if not an A. Um, really very happy with how easily it comes out. Um, there's a number of holes in, in this part here, so if we did want to use the, um, the bike rack for short trips, basically it just mounts a little bit farther away from the car, and in that case I really don't need to uh, remove the pedals. I, I forgot to mention that I remove the um, pedal on this side of the bicycle. Uh, that, that allows the, the bike to get a lot closer to the car. Um, so, one thing I noticed after I had built it is that if, you're, if you were following our car, um, the, the light here is obscured a little bit. Um, maybe that one too a little bit. Considering the fact that we're putting on a lot of miles, um, we're going to, on our way home, that's going to be, uh, we're going to do a side trip, so we're going to be putting on 4,000 miles. So the extra lights down there are another level of safety. Um, and really, I'm very satisfied with it. Um, if you are interested in this, um, there is an organization called Ujamaa Place, U-J-A-M-A-A. -A -A. Um, they have a website, and there is another organization, Honor the Earth. If you see some value in this, this, this design is for anybody to get ideas off of or to modify 
fabricate it, produce it in, bat in quantities. If you get some benefit out of this, I ask that you do uh, do uh, donate to those organizations. Um, the plans for this are available on um, two websites and maybe I'll um, give some more information later but um, the websites are one is GrabCAD and one is 3D Central. Um, I might have to put that in the notes as well because um, the, the drawings are in CAD format. Um, I'll probably put them, I have both 3D and 2D drawings for, for most of the parts. Um, so if you want to reply to this video, um, if you like it, and have any thoughts, feel free to do that. Um, and I could possibly do another video that would um, talk more about some of the technical aspects of it. But um, that's all for now, so um, hope you get something out of it.